the ultimate aim is to get um, the bottom opening some looking something like this uh, so there's a steps to doing this um, this one is well partly finished off now the way we're doing this is first of all we marked it out and then we attached the loops so on the each point of the inch space I've uh, attached the loops facing the um, this is the side where it's going to get stitched over and turned over so they're facing the outer side uh, leg seam <coughs> and uh, our spare piece of fabric we're going to place this facing the right side down like this and then you're going to stitch along from the bottom of this equal uh, about a foot's uh, width going down going up to the seam and then on top of that seam we're going to go all the way up and stop at that point where the attachment of the loops are ending and then we're going to leave a small amount of space here and uh, that space is about half a centimeter and then on the equal amount we're going to go down up to the point where we went across and then go towards the other side and it's going to create like a marker with a cup off which is not going to work now so what you're going to do is have a seam going up seam going up like seam going across like this seam going up a small space in between left and then going down again and then going across so you're going to have something looking like that and then this center bit you're going to cut into this Uh, you're going to cut into this leaving just enough space so like an at an angle and then that's going to go at an angle and that's going to go at an angle like a V and so what you're going to have is the, these imagine these are your two lines and you're going, cutting across and then you're cutting like like such so it's going to create like a V and that V then it gets turned over so what you're going to have is Uh, this is the attachment fabric and uh, once this gets cut this fabric is going to get turned over and then get attached and uh, to the other side so I'm just gonna go and do that and then I'll come back and show you exactly how to go about turning this over and pressing it into place uh, doing the tarpai and attaching the buttons on so once these edges are turned over I'll take buttons out give you a better view now buttons are easy to attach these loops actually this does open up so you can make these trousers fairly tight because um, you'll be able to get your foot in easy enough because loops will help you to get it on and off So that's what it basically looks like. So from the wrong side, it gets turned over, uh, press it, do the tarpai, turn it over, make sure that the edges are sitting flat, all the points are taken out, and then attach your buttons, mark them out where the buttons fall into place at an inch apart, and add your buttons before doing the closing seam. The buttons are a little bit hard to put on once you've closed the trouser over, but basically once you've done that, uh, all you need to do then is to do your central seam and uh, once the central seam is done you attach uh, the crutch going all the way around. <laughs> 